Traditionally, access to the private capital markets has been in the hands of Wall Street elites and the wealthy. If startups or private companies were looking for investors, in the past, only a select few of Americans were able to participate and invest. That's all changed. In the private markets, in order to participate in a private placement, an investor would have to be an accredited investor. They'd have to meet certain net income or net worth criteria. And it's a very small and limited group of Americans who are even eligible to participate in those type of opportunities. In 2015, all of that changed with the JOBS Act. Now, retail investing is open to the everyday public and brands are empowered and able to sell shares directly to non-accredited investors, everyday U.S. citizens. Over 10 years ago, Congress saw that companies were staying private longer and everyday Americans weren't getting access to early stage companies because by the time they went public, they were hugely valuable already and a lot of the gains had been made. So they came up with these securities law exemptions called Reg CF and Reg A that allowed everyday Americans to get into private companies regardless of who they are or what their net worth is. And what we've done is bring technology and the power of the internet to those rules that it makes it more cost effective so that Americans can invest as little as a few hundred dollars into these startups and get some of the bigger gains that were previously only seen by funds and VCs and Wall Street. Since the JOBS Act was passed in 2015, issuers raising under these exemptions have put more than four billion into the US economy. It's working. With this opening up of the private markets, there has been a rise in retail investing the public now has access to the same pre-IPO and private deals that were reserved previously for venture capitalists and the wealthy. This has drastically changed the investing landscape. Companies that are public can use a brokerage account to buy shares, but the vast majority of companies in our economy aren't public, and they may want to raise capital from the type of shareholder that they've identified as a good fit long-term for them, and it's been very hard for them to do so. When you democratize the ability of ordinary individuals to buy shares in companies and brands that they believe in, not only do you give the buyers an opportunity that they wouldn't have otherwise had, you give the brands themselves the ability to raise capital from a pool that makes a lot more sense for them. Think about Peloton in its early days, Airbnb in its early days. Previously, these opportunities were only available to high net worth individuals or large funds. But what technology and the power of the internet has allowed is everyday Americans to click online and to buy shares as easily as they can buy a pair of shoes. Now through equity crowdfunding, entrepreneurs can take control of their capital raising journey. Decisions no longer rest in the hands of a very few on what type of startup gets funded. Everyday Americans now have access to investing in the next Uber or Airbnb. Equity crowdfunding helps startups and private companies raise money online while offering the opportunity to invest in early stage companies to the general public. Dealmaker's technology allows private companies and startups to digitize their funding rounds, communicate with their shareholders, and raise capital from the crowd. Dealmaker is an e-commerce company that powers brands who raise capital online. Brands will open an online store and they'll use our technology and services to build a community of stakeholders who may wish to become shareholders by investing in that company's capital raise. What we've seen in equity crowdfunding is that while less than 2% of VC funding goes to women and minority-led startups, over 30% of the capital raised in equity crowdfunding goes to women and minority-led startups. That's a huge difference, 2 to 30%, something we're incredibly proud of in the equity crowdfunding industry. Dealmaker provides digital solutions and services for all stages of a capital raise, from seed round to IPO. The technology allows brands to tap into the crowd to raise funds to build their business. Now exciting investment opportunities are available to the everyday investor and not just venture capitalists. Hi, I'm Paul Sun, the CFO of Dragonfly. Dragonfly is an award-winning leading drone solutions provider. Uh, the company has been in business for almost 25 years. 
Uh, we're considered the pioneer of drone technology in the commercial space. We're credited with saving the first human life uh, using a drone. We found uh, a person in a car accident, wandered into a forest, and with the drones basically triangulated his position and saved him a few hours from his death. So that achievement is, a, is uh, showcased in the Smithsonian Museum. Uh, we're a public company and we trade under the ticker DPRO uh, on the NASDAQ and in the CSE in Canada. Dealmaker has been fantastic and it allowed us to leverage the platform to access uh, investors in the, uh, in the U.S. market. Uh, we used a reggae uh, financing methodology and um, by doing that, it allowed us to directly market to that end customer. Uh, my background is in capital markets. Uh, I've been on Bay Street for a number of years and we're used to marketing hedge funds and mutual funds and institutional accounts via an investment bank. And this way it takes that middleman out of the way and allows you to really tell your story directly. And we found that extremely successful. And as a result, it springboarded us to our NASDAQ IPO. We want founders in five years to know that they actually have three options for financing. They can go to VCs, they can go to Wall Street, or they can raise money from a community and own their own cap table. Find out more at dealmaker.tech.